And yes, the COVID-19 cases inside the border Ninja, it don't go up past 10,000 mark. And with 307 new cases where they reported on Sunday. This matter is shelly like this, even though say intensified efforts from authorities to flatten the curve of the pandemic, they shelly. And the new cases where they announced uh, from the Nigerian Center for Disease Control and CDC and uh, been take infection for Africa, most populous nation, to 10,162. Out of uh, way 3,007, 3, they don't already call be discharged, and 287, nine don't die. NCDC data, data shows say the cases they spread across 14 states and the FCT, and Lagos they account for the highest number of infections, and uh, for the day, uh, will be 188 cases. And to join us live via Zoom, Dr. Wan will be Victory, will be medical practitioner inside Delta State. Dr. Victory, good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are they? We full ground. Oh, thank you. So you join us on top news and this cajad morning. And we hear saying a good news. Say 82 years old hypertensive widow. She been recovered from COVID-19 for inside Oshun State. But I beg again, make you try clarify us whether she um, been get the typical or if she be the typical high risk kind of person. And if she be the typical high risk kind of person, which type of treatment they don't or if it make the difference for the matter. Okay. Um, yes, she be among the high risk people, people who will call high risk. But the okay. issue now you say um, the most important thing about this COVID 19 is say make the patient come early, detection, early detection in that might be the most important thing. Mm. If that woman, yes, being the fact say she be elderly person, number one, mm. number two, this age she be hypertensive, yes, it puts her at a very high risk. But if she if we detect the the virus early enough will be able to help her just like we can help every other person. Okay. So uh, we hear say kits and uh, test kits and uh, they black market now. How it takes Shelly and waiting with the risk where they inside them as it be like that. Okay, actually if we want to look at them like, like that, uh, mm -hmm. test kits being in the black market supposed not be any issue. Because if you look and carefully in the developed countries like the US, like um, UK, like mm -hmm. France, now even private hospitals, hospitals they incorporated in helping out with these issues. But it's not it's not that allowed for this country. So actually for now, these things being in black markets now wahala to us. Because we know, say, most of the times these um, um test is being in the black market in black black market, mm -hmm. the sole purpose now to make money. Not be to actually detect the disease condition and help the individual. Mm. Most of the time, these test kits are fake. So people will just want, ah, this is not COVID 19, maybe I just carry and go out. So, mm. but we don't know, maybe the, the test kit is, you know, people, person, if just, people, the manufacturers, if just, just make one or two um, changes. Mm. But you go to the test and you go to the test negative, whereas the real test kits mm. went there with NCDC, with the test of somebody positive. So, I, I in this in this context in our country here for this Niger, I not advise anybody to patronize those um, black market kits. Okay, so for those black market kits where you be like say you don't they confirm say some of them they need to give the real results. We still they wonder whether these kits then they locally made or they import them. Now if they import them, how then 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 they come inside then sake of this global restriction of movement where they shell all around the world. Yeah, say we get um, global restrictions of um, uh, traveling and the rest of them. You no, know I mean, say things when they enter the country. Mm. Uh, government not uh, government not talk like that. Things they enter the country on a daily basis. Mm. If what by now, hunger for the kill of everyone of us for the country now. A lot of things see they come in some um, some relief materials, see some um, okay. some test kits. Even they come from the US, from the UK, from different countries. Even things people with people with the other things from Amazon. People they have other things from uh, other. Um, the uh, retailer website, they mm -hmm. receive their stuffs now from abroad. So they, they're not the top cargo movement, but the okay. only thing, the, the restrictions currently are just for humans to travel from one place to another. Okay. Okay. So which person responsibility it be to stop all these black market sales of test kits so that the thing not going to cause plenty more badness inside what they already they face? Ah, correct. I, I must say, now nah, government responsibility because government by this time need to be up and doing to the help uh, checkmate all of these all of these um, irregularities. Okay. Currently, 
I, I don't I don't know what to say whether government is doing well or government. But the truth is that mm. to be say citizens supposed to try, you need to put, take responsibility. Mm. Not the only government. Government they don't know if it's run this matter. Mm. If government they don't run this matter, government go even weak. Okay. And government cannot do it effectively if we the citizenry is not going to help out. Okay. So our responsibilities as citizens now to abide by the rules and regulations. Although we know so many Nigerians not even believe say this thing that happen, but for the sake of those who don't die, for the sake of those who um, still there on isolation, still there under treatment, we need to try to lack the call. Okay. So now we, uh, they don't ease lockdown for different states. The lockdown don't be like, say, mm, since you know they shell it again. So a lot of people, they don't stop to they, pre they, they do preventive measure. A lot of people, they don't stop to they use their face mask. Some people, don't, they don't even understand what's going to be the social distancing matter again. And so what's going to be the best bet to take prevent spread uh, for inside Rio Bodo? Actually, eh, human beings are the most difficult people to, to deal with. Mm. Human beings are very, very difficult. But however, I must say, uh, I, I believe, say, the best way to curb, curb this issue now is continuous enlightenment. Okay. The truth is that, the truth is, say, even when I enter the streets, how they see people and they ask, and they interact with some one or two people, and they will tell me, say, this COVID 19 not there yet, mm. especially for this, for this place where they stay. People don't just believe, say, anything they share. Mm. So, but I just believe, they, you know, they will, if I tell them, say, this thing, they will, based on my experience, they will tell me, say, ah, well, I don't ever see anybody for television say they put this person, say this person, they get to a hala or not. But the thing we say, if we abide by the social distancing, by the little rules and regulations we uh, NCDC don't give us, mm. they wash our hands regularly, they prevent, uh, they try as much as possible to sanitize our hands and uh, try as much as possible not to touch our mouth, our e nose, our e eyes. We will reduce the spread. But the truth is that uh, another thing there you see. Or staying at home, no go solve the problem. Further, further enforcing lockdown, no go solve the wahala because mm. the lockdown, in fact, in fact, COVID nineteen they learn for where the lockdown did. Mm. Lockdown we don't keep them anymore. So I believe that the, the best bet for us now for us to uh, to just uh, abide by those uh, universal precautions. Okay, thank you so much, Doctor Victory, for the time where you take out to take and give us all this Ogbonge information. Make you get better day. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much.